the implementation of an innovation-led economy for the country. ASM's commitment lies firmly in fostering a culture of excellence in STI in Malaysia. ASM does this by providing independent, credible, relevant and timely STI input of national and international importance to the country. Our network of expertise comprises Malaysian scientists, engineers, and technologists who specialize in various disciplines. The Academy assists in upgrading the nation's technological capabilities in the industrial sectors by producing high-quality publications such as peer-reviewed journals, monographs, and books. In addition, ASM also provides input on current and future technology trends to be considered and taken up by the government in driving the nation's economy forward. To provide Malaysian scientists with the best opportunities and exposure, ASM actively extends its international networks and collaborations. It currently has a range of multilateral engagements with renowned scientific institutions worldwide. The Academy also champions the need to grow the right talent in STI by cultivating interests in science, technology, engineering and mathematics to the younger generation. In short, the Academy's ethos is broadly defined as Think Science, Celebrate Technology, Inspire Innovation.
science plays a vital role for economic development and societal well-being. Understanding this, the Academy of Sciences Malaysia was established with a mission to be Malaysia's thought leader in all areas of science, technology and innovation. To realize its mission, ASM harnesses the nation's top scientific minds to chart the STI direction and facilitates the implementation of an innovation-led economy for the country. ASM's commitment lies firmly in fostering a culture of excellence in STI in Malaysia. ASM does this by providing independent, credible, relevant and timely STI input of national and international importance to the country. Our network of expertise comprises Malaysian scientists, engineers and technologists who specialize in various disciplines. The Academy assists in upgrading the nation's technological capabilities in the industrial sectors by producing high-quality publications such as peer-reviewed journals, monographs and books. In addition, ASM also provides input on current and future technology trends to be considered and taken up by the government in driving the nation's economy forward. To provide Malaysian scientists with the best opportunities and exposure, ASM actively extends its international networks and collaborations. It currently has a range of multilateral engagements with renowned scientific institutions worldwide. The Academy also champions the need to grow the right talent in STI by cultivating interests in science, technology, engineering and mathematics to the younger generation. In short, the Academy's ethos is broadly defined as Think Science, Celebrate Technology, Inspire Innovation. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Delivering a special lecture on investing in the tropics, our next presenter is no stranger in the field of sustainable development. Tan Sri Dr. Jeffrey Chia is the founder and chairman of Sunway Group, a leading Malaysian conglomerate with core interest in real estate, property, construction, hospitality, retail, education, and healthcare. Tan Sri, the floor is yours. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good day to all of you from Sunway City, Kuala Lumpur, here in Malaysia. I trust everyone is keeping well and staying safe. Let me begin by thanking the Mahadev Science Award Foundation and the Academy of Sciences Malaysia for inviting me to say a few words about sustainable developments and investing in the tropics. I am humbled to be given this opportunity to share my views with such an esteemed audience that includes eminent scientists and policy makers. Ladies and gentlemen, the word investment is usually defined as the act of pouring money, effort, time, and other resources into a venture that offers a profit. 
I would like to broaden that definition a little. I believe that sometimes investment can also be defined as not doing something, yet gaining a return. In this context, preservation or protecting resources can also be an investment. Or in the words of the ancient Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu, I quote, act without action, unquote. Let me share an example. The tropical region houses much of the world's swamps. For a long time, swamps have lived in our imaginations as places of disease, misery, even the home of monsters. They had to be trained and built over with developments of steel, concrete, and glass in the name of progress. But at, a, at some recent point, the words wetlands and pitlands began to use to describe what we once called swamp and marshes. This change in language signified a major change in our perception of these areas. Suddenly, swamps began to be seen in a new light as a gift of mother nature to help keep the ecology of the, of the planet in balance. Ladies and gentlemen, we now know that peatlands across Southeast Asia play a vital role in helping the world's attempts to combat climate change. They, they serve as carbon sinks, accumulating and storing carbon and moderating greenhouse gas emissions. According to Professor Susan Page of the University of Leicester in Britain, the tropical peatlands across Southeast Asia store about 50 billion tons of carbon. The recent report by the UN Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, or IPCC, issued a stark warning that the planet is at a tipping point. The UN Secretary General described the report as a code red for humanity. Imagine, if you will, how much higher the planet's temperature would be if this if these bitlands were trained and built over in the name of progress. I submit by just leaving these bitlands and wetlands untouched in their natural state, we will have made a positive contribution towards addressing the climate crisis. Now, preservation in this regard is actually a form of investment in the future. This, to me, sums up Lao Tzu's advice, and I quote, act without action, unquote. But surely, we in the tropics are owed some form of investment from the rich countries for doing our part in helping ensure the very survival of humanity. For example, a carbon tax at 135 US dollars per ton in 2030, as recommended by the IPCC, would value the carbon stock within Southeast Asia peatlands at some 6.8 trillion US dollars. Such a fund, similar to the UN Green Climate Fund can go a long way towards much needed investment in public goods across the region. This would include investment in education, healthcare, eradication of poverty, and ending hunger, all of which are key components of the sustainability agenda. Now, ladies and gentlemen, 
Let me be clear. I am an entrepreneur. I'm not saying that we should not have development. But given the state of the planet and its people, development must be carried out in a manner that advances the sustainability agenda. And for a start, instead of destroying nature's defenses against climate change, what if we had developed brown fields instead of green fields? Permit me to share with you what we have done here in Samhain City, Kuala Lumpur. About 40 years ago, this area was full of abandoned and disused mining pools covered in sand and gravel with no sign of any life. We rehabilitated this moonscape and built Malaysia's first integrated green township. <coughs> but more than 30,000 trees have been transplanted and a complete ecosystem restored. We have our own public transport system with electric buses running on elevated bus lanes. In addition, elevated covered walkways connect the city, which provide a healthy and alternative means of getting around. These walkways also reduce our carbon footprint. The city is now home to a driving community of more than 200,000 people living, working, playing, and studying in a safe, healthy, and connected environment. This city houses three universities, an international recognized medical center, Malaysia's first theme park, a major mall, several hotels, commercial buildings, and private residences. And we are not finished yet. We plan to integrate technolo technology even more deeply to establish Sunway City Kuala Lumpur as a model, smart, sustainable city of the 21st century. The success of Sunway City Kuala Lumpur led to the Sunway Group becoming one of Malaysia's leading conglomerates. In fact, you could say the Sunway Group is founded on the concept of sustainable development. In 2015, when the UN adopted the 17 Sustainable Development Goals, it was only natural that Sunway integrated the 17 SDGs in all our business practices and decision-making processes. Our commitment to the sustainability agenda is summed up in our vision statement, which is to be Asia's model corporation in sustainable development, innovating to enrich lives for a better tomorrow. And ladies and gentlemen, my business success allowed me to realize my lifelong dream, which was to set up a foundation dedicated to nation building and giving back to society. The Jeffrey Chair Foundation, set up in 2010, is now Malaysia's largest education-focused social enterprise. The foundation puts into action my personal belief that education should be a not-for-profit enterprise. It owns and governs the 16 education entities under the Sunway Education Group and has awarded scholarships and grants of more than 150 million US dollars. The foundation also gifted 10, US, 10 million US dollars to the UN Sustainable Development Solutions Network or UNSDSN. A large portion of these funds were used to establish the Jeffrey Sachs Center on Sustainable Development at Sunway University five years ago. This year, the foundation pledged a further 10 million US dollars to the UN SDSN. 
a significant amount of the funds will be used to establish the UN SDSN Asia headquarters at Sunway with responsibility of continent-wide sustainability initiatives. This will be one of the only three such global centers in the world, ranking Sunway City Kuala Lumpur with New York City overseeing, overseeing the Americas and Paris overseeing Europe and Africa. Our latest initiative here is the establishment of the Sunway Center for Planet 3 Health, one of just a handful of such entities in the world. The new center will work closely with our, assist, our assisting institutions at Sunway University to advance the sustainability agenda in a holistic manner in the region. As you can see, our concept of sustainability is comprehensive and embraces physical, mental, and emotional well-being. Ladies and gentlemen, I have always believed that one must, one must have a higher purpose in life. And as for me personally, that purpose is to lead a fulfilling life by giving back to society and building a better world for our children and grandchildren. Advancing the sustainability agenda is very much part of that mission. At Sunway, we, we firmly believe that building a sustainable future is not the responsibility of governments alone. It requires the commitment of all elements of society, the private sector, academia, civil society, and of course, every single individual. We are all in this together, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Terima kasih and thank you, Tan Sri Dr. Jeffrey Chia for the lecture. Ladies and gentlemen, please stay and enjoy the rest of the conference. If you have questions, our chat box is always open and you can also contact our support agent from the main lobby. Thank you and have a great day ahead.